All right. Time to draw a challenge. Here we go. Here we go. And another one from this year. The game is Project S11 for the Game Boy Color. Not familiar. Submitted by Orky Bork, the challenge is to beat the first three stages. Only three. Project S11 for Game Boy Color. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let me go ahead and get and let me let me get these ROMs ready. Oh, a Sunsoft. That's got to be pretty good. Okay, I don't know. I, I don't know who the street art people are, but Project S11. So I have to beat the beat the first three stages. Project S11. <laughs> I'm gonna do that, just in case. Game looks kind of jank. All right, Project S11 in three, two, one. Let's do this. Welcome. On screen, you see, can see the enemy threat. Not much is known besides besides that they are hostile. All right. In order to avoid the interception of our tech docs, we need you to deliver them personally to our forest base. Okay. At your disposal is the top secret ship developed under Project S11. Good luck. They got some Ingress here. The Ekans Desert? I'm, I'm sorry, what? Bro, that's copyrighted. You can't call something that. Oh, it's a shooter. It's it's like Zevius, but no, that was a bomb. I wasted that. I can tell this is not going to be easy. Okay, so you can you can mash, but you can also uh, you can also hold down the button, but you just don't shoot as fast. This this reminds me an awful lot of the 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 secret space fever game that's in the Game Boy Camera. Just gonna throw that out there. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. Oh, we got like hell yeah. We got ninja stars. I'm running out. Oh, oh, okay. The I I I I pee ninja stars, but the longer I hold the button down. <laughs> the shorter out from my ship they fire. <laughs> I pee ninja stars. I'm not sure I want another weapon. I don't... What's the green one? Okay, the green one is just peeing more ninja stars. Do I have a health bar somewhere? Because I've, I've been hit a couple times and I, uh, I haven't died yet. Oh my god. You know, this isn't bad for a Game Boy Color game, all, all things considered. Considering how many moving objects are on the screen. I'm kind of, I'm kind of impressed with the, with the visuals here. Like, this looks like, uh, it looks like they, they took like a, uh, you know, like a, like a Strikers game and made, just made it really small. Okay, I'm gonna drop the bomb on there. There we go. Alright, what is that? What does this do? I don't, I don't, I, don't, I have no idea. Oh, oh no! I lost my, my PP stars. No, but this is a pretty strong weapon though, so... If I get... Oh, damn it, damn it. I was gonna say, if I get two, will it... Will it become more powerful? I don't know. Is it more powerful? I keep picking up the same... Okay, that looks like the first boss. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> he dropped like a sack of bricks. He couldn't handle the purple. Couldn't handle the perp. It's too dank. Gotta watch out. I don't want... I don't want that item. Go away. I want... I like this item now. I don't want... I don't want a peen in... No! Okay. This is where it's at. This is this is this is who I am now. I am I am purple laser man. Orky, how long do each of these stages last? Okay. 
Okay, we got we got to be close to a boss. We're coming up on like some pyramids or some sand dunes or something. I got. I also have to win one of these challenges at some point. We're not looking good. I got one win, five losses. This game feels like okay. I feel like if I were to ask how much this game is worth, it would probably be a lot of money. This seems like the type of game that would be worth, like, a fuck ton. What happened? What happened? Oh my god, okay. Oh, I can't, I can't, oh, I can't, oh, did I kill? Okay, good. I wasn't sure if I could shoot his projectiles. Is that stage one down? Yes. Okay, we gotta beat, beat, get to stage three, or are we beaten stage three? Beat stage three, okay. Well, well, we're in Tyrion now? What is this? Tyrion? Student. Uh, okay. Data acquired. Yeah, these, these enemies look like something straight out of Tyrion. I feel like they ought to be dropping, uh, little, little cubes and, and, and gems and things of the sort. Oh, this is like a $30 game for Game Boy Color? Yeah, that's that's pretty, uh... I mean, most Game Boy Color games, in terms of value, are not 30 bucks. They're like a, you know, 10 or less, so... Yeah, some, something being 30 bucks loose, that's... That's... I would consider that to be substantial. I mean, that's, that's more than the price of, like, Donkey Kong Land and, like, DuckTales and things like that. This, you know, this is a good game. I don't... It, it's not, uh, it's not the previous one. It's not Sonic Genesis, and it's not Ultimate Brain Games or whatever. So, by default, it's automatically... Oh, what does that do? Okay, so that green thing does something. But it's not a weapon upgrade. I feel like maybe the green thing is actually health. Because I noticed my armor is over there on the far right. There, There is a meter for it. I figured that out. I'm, I was trying to read the side. It's over there by my score, which is going up one one point at a time, I think. Yeah, that's that's I, that's definitely a health bar over there. And this whole time I've been dodging that green power-up because I thought that was the Ninja Star weapon. I was like, I don't want it! I want to keep what I got. I want to keep the insurance I have! Okay, so let me see that. Is that is that HP up? I don't know what that is. Maybe it's score. Maybe it's bonus points. I don't know. Cause I, I grabbed it. It didn't seem to do anything. Oh, oh, that gives you a bomb. Okay. Thank you, Orky. Is there? Oh, there is a bomb count. It's it's right. It's very tiny. It says it's 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 right off to the side. It, I've got uh, I've got three of or four of them. It's like right almost to the left of the center of my health bar. I also notice I have lives and stuff over there too. Again. So I noticed there there is a, a, a thing on the, the HUD over on the right for, I guess, weapon strength? I, I've picked up the same power-up a bunch of times, but it doesn't seem to go up anymore. I guess, is this the highest I can get with this particular... I've got five lives, too, so, you know, I, I can afford to drop a couple, I guess. I shouldn't be talking like that. Give me that bomb. Give me that bomb. We got a boss coming in, I think. No? We got a we got a big boom boom coming down. No, we do have a boss. You want some of this? You want a piece of me? 
I don't think that damaged him. Oh, fuck off. That got him, though. That got him. That got him. Hell yeah. Mission three. The Lawap Forest. You know. Lawap Forest. That sits over a river. An ocean. Oh man, okay. I can say that weapon's bouncing back back and forth way too fast for me. To oh shit, okay. So I I've yet to see a power up that increases health. <laughs> that boss did look like a t-shirt. It looked like a suit of armor. It was like it was like a, a, a chest piece. It's the it's the 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 iron banded armor from uh, Skyrim. That junk trash treasure that nobody wants. You go through an entire raiders camp and you you lockpick their damn chest and all they have is like iron banded armor of frost protection. You're just like son of a bitch. I give up on this. Fuck you, Todd Howard. I give up on this game. And the, but then you but then you buy Skyrim again every time it comes out for a new console. You just can't you can't stop. You can't pull yourself away from it. You just have to play it. I don't want to know how many hours I've sunk into it. It's the answer is hundreds, and I don't want to know I don't want to know how many hundreds. I'm just gonna say I enjoy the fantasy atmosphere, and I I, I wish I wish that uh, I could marry an Argonian. I, I, I don't think I've ever played an Elder Scrolls game and not played as an Argonian character. Like, that's- I only ever picked them. Because, duh. But... <laughs> There's just something real badass about uh, going down to that that slave mine and busting Durkitas out of there and being like, Yo, man, I saved your life. Let's get married. Let's hook up. And he's like, dude, yeah, I'm fucking on. I'm, let's go. And then he's your companion. You give him you give him some Daedric armor with some stupid enchantments. Oh, it's a mini version of what we just fought. You give him you give him a you give him Daedric armor with some stupid enchantments, and you give him a big ass sword, and that's it. It's game over for everybody else. Nobody can nobody can stop the force of two gay lizards in love, alright? Nobody. Especially if they've got demonic weapons that trap souls and do insane amounts of lightning damage per hit. One of my one of my one of my favorite one of my favorite things to, that I did in Skyrim is uh, I, I do know about the glitch where like if you put on the the enchanting ring and then you drink the potion to fortify your enchant your alchemy and then you make another potion for like you can you can stack the you can stack the things and then go to the enchantment table and you can make something that has like a ridiculously strong enchantment. I uh, one of the things I did and I did this as a joke, but in uh, Riften. There are the only- what is that? Oh, that's a 1-up! Hell yeah! In, uh, Riften, there- there's a home you can buy. I forget the name of the property, the home. But you can get, uh... If you go out on the, the back porch that's overlooking, like, the water, there's a fork and a knife sitting on the table. But they're unique items in that they are the only fork and knife in the game that you can wield as weapons. They're not just junk items. And so I like to use my cheat enhancement to, um, for, like, the fork, I think, I actually fortified with the ability to, uh, uh paralyze. But <laughs> when you stab someone, it's some obscene amount of seconds. Like, it's literally, you could watch all three director's cut movies, The Lord of the Rings, and, uh, you would come back and that character would still be fucking frozen. Oh, did I get him? Did I get him? Did I get him? Welcome to the forest base. Congrats on your well done missions. On screen, you can see the newly discovered planet Alien Alien Cephi. We need you to mobilize your ship and destroy the enemy threat. I need you to. I need you to mobilize your fucking grammar. That's it. That's that's a win right there, baby. That's three. That's three levels down. And I got I gotta say, I gotta say, Project this Project S11 game, I didn't realize I didn't realize uh I didn't realize you 
the, there were there were games like this on the Game Boy Color. I know there's the prototype floating out there of somebody tried to port Tyrion 2000 to Game Boy Color, and that's a pretty solid prototype. But this is basically like this is a fully fleshed out game. The, grammatically, I gotta I gotta give it some low marks, but <laughs> gameplay wise, it's spot on. I'm, I mean, this is this is a good one. And Orky, that, that's why that's why I like that's why that's why I like your that's why I like your that's why I like your challenges is because I usually I usually get something I haven't seen before. I think that's really cool. So Project S11, that's a victory. That's a victory in the bag, right there. That go, that gets that gets to go over here with with this one. Your uh, your your other challenge. God damn it! I'm gonna have to oh, hang on. Uh, I can't really hear the soundtrack too well because I've got the TV turned down so it doesn't bleed over onto the microphone. But I can I can hear a little bit of the soundtrack coming through. It is it is pretty good too. I mean this this game right here this is this is a complete package if uh, you're the type that likes uh, likes um, uh, vertical uh, shoot 'em ups. I mean this one is that's worth checking out. I was really into it. Lots of different weapons. I mean the purple thing is overpowered, but you can also you, can, you also get uh, Ninja Star PP if you want that one. You can get that one. That's a power up. How many games let you pee Ninja Stars? That's what I thought. Hey, thanks for checking out Gatorbox on YouTube. We really appreciate it. If you like what you saw and you want to kick around with us live, follow us on Twitch because we do this several times during the week. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by subscribing right here on YouTube, following or subscribing over on Twitch, or even making a pledge on Patreon. Your support over the years has been tremendous. Thank you so, so much. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video right here on Gatorbox.